So, people are a little concerned about mirror compositions becoming much more of a thing uh, in the expansion when everything goes to five targets. I'm going to explain to you why that's not the case. So, number one, let's go ahead and take a look at pretty much the backbone of 10 player content in the game right now using this handy composition builder. This thing is a tool that will be coming soon. It tells you if your combos go or not. Let's go and build something. So, typically you have a heal firebrand, a tank chronomancer, then you'll typically have a druid in the mix there. You're going to have your alacrity source, which is going to be our revenant a lot of the time here, with this revenant here, as you can see. And then after that, you're going to have your warrior. That's like the basic backbone of 10-player content right now in PvE. You've got your quickness and alacrity in both subgroups. you got your might. you got your healing. you got your boons. Everything here is wonderful. And then after that, then you just fill it in with a bunch of random DPS. Okay, now let's see what happens when everything is five targets. So I'm just going to open, I'm going to duplicate this tab, and we're going to go ahead and make ourselves another squad here real quick as well. Let's just see what happens if we do this, but with five target. So realistically, heal brand's still going to be really good, and so is Chrono. Although Chrono takes a bit of a hit because it doesn't have ten target, but Realistically, I think people are still going to play Chronomancer. So let's go ahead and put our tank Chronomancer in. Then we have a Heal Firebrand going into the mix. Now, the big difference here is actually going to be the in the Alacrity source because we actually already have two healers because we normally have our Druid over here anyway here, right? So we have one healer here in that subgroup, which also applies boons. So the Druid applies protection, regen, swiftness, might, all that kind of stuff. And the Heal Firebrand actually naturally blends into that role in the new five target era. All right. So actually, we don't double up on our healers because we already have one in the current paradigm. What's going to change here is the way we do alacrity. So once again, we're going to go ahead and put our alacrity in here. When that will again, maybe be a revenant. Let's just say we're going to run revenant here. And you're going to need it in the other subgroup as well. So you just run a second revenant and you still run warrior. Because bear in mind, arena aren't going to be nerfing or reworking banners until the summer. So the actual banner change here isn't relevant and neither is spirits. You can, Because again, spirits are staying 10 target until the next major balance patch. So the only real difference here is actually that you brought in another Revenant for Alacrity. And, big bonus meme here, that actually won't necessarily be necessary either, because you can actually simply have a DPS player there, and your Chronomancer can take Alacrity. Minstrel Chronomancer, simply taking the Alacrity well, will apply Quickness and Alacrity to a subgroup which typically isn't used very often right now because 10 target exists, but now that 10 target is going away, that means that 5 target becomes a lot more relevant. So you actually could run an identical composition, right? And just to really underline this, the reason people are worried about mirror comps is because they remember the good old days or the bad old days. So we'll use this one here on the left again to do that. So this is what the bad old days look like. You would have your Chrono in both groups. You would have your Druid in both groups. Then you would have your Warrior in both groups as well because you wanted banners. You had your Might there as well. And then you would run literally four Tempests because, uh, well, well, let's get into that right now. So, so why did this happen? Why did people play this way? Was it because of five target boons? No, not at all. It wasn't because of that. Uh, and people seem to have forgotten this a little bit. The reason why people played this composition was because there just weren't options that existed, right? Um, Chronomancer was the only build in the entire game that could apply quickness or alacrity, let alone both at the same time. It also had the broken distort share as well at the same time. And alacrity was even better than it was. Druid, funnily enough, was actually kind of the only healer. Like, Tempest was kind of there, there a little bit. But back in the day, it was kind of Druid or nothing. Druid was actually um, even more indispensable because it provided unique buffs. It had Glyph of Empowerment for a DPS increase, and it had Grace of the Land too, which is outrageous. And Warrior was kind of the go-to Might source. Might actually was not super easy to come by um, back in the day, actually. Not as much as it is now. And so in addition to the Ellie's providing a bit with Fire Overload, you'd also have your Warrior providing Might with Phalanx Strength. You did 
didn't really have any other way to go about doing this in a relatively efficient way. Um, this is why people did this. And of course, spirits and banners were also five target at this point, meaning that they were even more indispensable because they were even stronger and you want them in both groups. Okay, that was why people ran Miracle, not because it was five target. And here's the big difference here, right? Now we have far, far, far more options. Okay, you have Chronomancer for Quickness, Chronomancer Alacrity, Scrapper Quickness, Harbinger Quickness, Mechanist Alacrity, Catalyst Quickness, right? A uh, Might from Alacrity Mirage. Alacrity from Alacrity Mirage, Revenant with Alacrity, Firebrand with Quickness. Soon Warrior and Ranger are going to have Quickness when they nerf banners or, well, rework banners and spirits, right? In, in some kind of formulation there. So all I'm saying is here, do not be worried about a mirror comp. Worst case scenario, the raid meta just stays the same and basically nothing changes because you'll just simply add another revenant to it um, or you're going to add um, maybe, uh, you know, your chronomancer will give alacrity or something like that. Maybe you would even run two heal brands, but it's not like people don't do that now. You'll actually see double heal brand comps fairly commonly in pugs. I'm not a big fan of them, but you do see them because they're very convenient to build the squad for. What Arena was trying to do when they um, went to five target. They wanted to make it so to, well, easier to balance the game for a start, but they also wanted to make everything kind of be like an easy to fit in cookie cutter puzzle piece into that. Now, there are some ramifications there about um, class homogeni uh, homogeneity that are actually a bit of a problem in my opinion, but it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. Um, and that was also true of DPS. Again, like one of the reasons why Tempest was run, it was because it was just broken, right? It was just busted, right? Way above everything else. Right now, the game is actually a lot better balanced than it used to be. Um, things are a lot closer together and there are far more options, okay, that exist in the game right now. So I think the risk of a mirror comp is not going to be increased by adding five target boons. You're going to see all sorts of crazy stuff, um, and maybe you won't see an increase in variety, but that's down to balance, not five target stuff, right? If heal brand is still overperforming, which I believe it definitely will be, actually, um, then in that case, okay, we're going to need to nerf that as well, right? If we see that Revenant still really overperforms compared to other alacrity options, then yeah, you're going to need to nerf that. But that's nothing to do with the fact that it's 10 target. And as you can see from the way we set this up on the squad builders, right? It's not really going to change the amount of uh, the actual baseline composition. Like if nothing else changes, the core will still be identical and function just as well without too much of a problem. So there it is. Hopefully no one's worried anymore about the mirror composition. If you are, then tell me. And I will take your fears away. I will discard them. Because there is no need for those whatsoever. Hell yeah. People are going to optimize a little bit towards these, you know, whatever's going to be the best. But people already do that, right? That's one more point. One more point I want to bring up, actually, is that, people are, oh, people are just going to play the same you know, the same thing over and over again because it's the best. Well, duh. Yeah, but people already do that with 10 target, right? Rev dominates. Firebrand dominates. Druid dominates, right? There are loads of other options. Tempest is great. Scrapper is great, right? Um, like all these things. Alak Mirage is a great option, honestly, in a lot of encounters these days, right? Hell, you could even generate might with boost. Boon Rev, you wanted to, or Heal Revenant. But people don't do that because they haven't found as much success with that. They aren't as familiar with that. And they simply, it just, someone builds it better than others, right? That's always going to be the case. People will always optimize. But the thing is, that shouldn't prevent um, you from playing what you want, right? Because ultimately, if Anet balances the game well, then things will be close enough together that it doesn't really matter that much. Okay? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mirror Comp Gaming shouldn't happen um not any more than it already does anyway we have like a mirror comp but not we just have a slightly different version of that the thing about moving from five to ten targets all you do is kick the can down the road and arguably make things even more indispensable like druid going 10 target might was pretty putrid um one of the most insane things about that was how powerful that really you know really became right was that 10 target capacity is how these things become so dominant in the first place and so meta disrupting so it's important to notice that um that going down to five target makes the game a lot easier to balance right uh for arena and it means that supports won't be disproportionately ridiculous compared to everything else because right now they are they're pretty busted 
There are definitely going to be some big winners and losers, and I think I'm going to go into that in another video, actually, um, and talk about, like, just really go through who's winning from this, who's losing. But in general, ArenaNet can fix it. It will be a numbers game. It will be adding, you know, nerfing some things, buffing other things to fix these things. But there is nothing inherent about things going five target that is going to prevent um, class diversity. In a lot of ways, it may actually enhance it while also maintaining a little bit of balance because it also bring, it also makes other things a lot more relevant. Like in the current meta, five target might or even 10 target might actually isn't very useful because it will always be carried by a druid, right? But now, oh great, well, an Alacrity Mirage can give might to a subgroup and alacrity to a subgroup at the same time. Previously, that might component was kind of worthless um, because, again, it would typically be covered simply by the druid or another might source. Now, that won't be the case, and that now has additional utility. So, like I said, you got to really think about this stuff and look at the winners and losers because there are actually some really surprise winners that you might not expect, actually, um, in this in this setup. I think a really fun one is actually Necro. Um, Necromancer actually generates might with Torch 5, right, and Blood is Power, totally irrelevant, right? Never really worth investing into because might is so easy. You just have a druid and that's your one-stop shop for might. Well, how about that? Now it turns out that you've got a little bit of might from your firebrand, a bit of might from your necro. Yeah, you're actually going to be delivering value there to your group in a way that you weren't previously. That might was coming from someone else before, but now it will be offloaded to other classes. In a lot of ways, this actually really promotes a lot of diversity and creativity with how are you going to get all of these boons, right, from different classes. And it means that a a lot of utility becomes more relevant on certain professions. Whereas previously it's like, oh, you don't provide anything we don't already have. Well, maybe you don't have it anymore because you've got half the number of targets. So providing that boon is now really, really valuable. Thanks to essentially things going down to five target from 10 target. Pretty interesting. Torch 5 is single target? That is incorrect, actually. Um, it applies, uh, it's a single target attack that gives might to all allies um, in the radius. It knocks down a single target, and then for each condition on the target, it gives two stacks of might um, uh, to allies around. Boom. There you go. So, yeah, it is actually a group supportability. It does grant area might. So, there you go. Fun fact. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on the mirror comp. Um, job done. That's it. Hopefully that's doused the flames, doused the fire. I've got a lot of work to do, actually. Like, this is, uh, unbelievable, actually. This is unreal. Okay. Fire put out. Few more to go. That's it.